This is the tutorial for the DT HATOM error removal plugin. It's a simple and easy to use plugin that allows you to target some of the errors that are shown with the Google Rich Snippet tool on a WordPress website when it comes to the HATOM micro format markup. So let's go ahead and have a quick look at what one of these errors looks like. For the demo site here, so just a standard WordPress website. This one's displaying a static page for the home page and it has a news page with blog articles. So if I take the URL for this blog page and I go ahead and paste it in the Google Rich Snippet tool, And when I use the uh, tool to test, when I scroll down to the HAtom format, you can see that it extracts structured data. So when it comes to HAtom or HAtom entry, you can see that this particular website is displaying the entry title, the entry content, the author, so all the important fields for HAtom markup, but it's missing one field, which is the field updated. And depending on what your website theme uh, or pages of how they've been set up depending on what uh, data they have on their page you might find that there is no HATOM markup at all on your page or you might find that uh, you have a lot more errors so you can test them here with the structured data testing tool so the idea of the DT HATOM error removal plugin is to address the missing fields or to help correct some of the HATOM markup and it's based on the article that I wrote, Fix HATOM Microformats, uh, which is um, an in-depth article that talks about what HATOM is and also uh, what fields need to be corrected and how you go about fixing them. So let's install the plugin on this website here and see if we can correct the error. So we go through the process of installing is very simple. Uh, you want to log into your WordPress site, go to the dashboard, Go to Plugins, Add New, and you're going to upload your plugin. So you locate the plugin and go ahead and install. And then you just have to activate. Now at this stage the plugin won't do anything. You have to choose some settings. So if you're on the plugin page and you scroll down to your plugin, you can see the DT HATOM WordPress error plugin. There's your options. There's a link to the settings page. There's also a link to the page on my website that uh, gives some uh, facts and some more information about the plugin if you have any uh, anything questions there you might find them in the facts section on that page quick uh, note for using this plugin is that it helps to remove the HATOM errors some of the settings may not work with certain themes and plugins also know that some plugins actually add additional HATOM markup to your pages and that cannot be corrected by this plugin so you can either click on the settings or you will find the settings page under settings and HATOM error removal. You have four choices here, four check boxes. Important to read the notes. So you can choose your options by checking or unchecking the boxes below. The important notes are removing the entry class from the home page can affect some themes performance or some themes appearance. So untick to aid add the H entry class back onto your home page. So that's this option here with a little read warning above. Archive pages do not always use excerpts. So if so, then this setting will not work. So that's the HATOM code to archive pages. So as it says there, read the note above as well. But these are the two main ones that people use, which is HATOM code to posts and HATOM code to pages. So we just tested with the Google Rich Snippet tool a moment ago 
the a post or an article on the website. So let's check this and see what it does. So select this one as standard, save changes. Okay, so settings saved. So now let's go ahead and back to our website and let's view that page again. So that was a news page and we went to the quick quick fried noodles and you can see here that the little line here quick fried noodles was last modified june 23rd 2014 by david so that line is has been added with the required fields based on the uh the h adam article so if we go ahead now and check on our rich snippet tool then we'll do preview You can see now when we get to the HAdam uh, extracted data section, you can see the HAdam entry we have at the updated field is now in place, updated June 23rd, 2014. So we've removed that error from that page. Okay, so that's one error we removed. Let's check another page. So if we go to back to the front end of our website. So we know that the articles page, the blog articles page is fixed. Let's go check perhaps the about page. All right, so this is just a very basic about page. Let's copy the URL. We'll go ahead and paste it here into our structured data testing tool and we'll preview. So now you can see that we still have some HAdam markup on the page. But we're missing the field updated and we're missing the field hcard author as well. Now, when it comes to HNM markup for web pages, the most important pages are for your post pages. And according to microformats.org, the uh, Hadam wiki page, HNM is a microformat for identifying semantic information in web blog posts and practically any other place Adam may be used okay so the format so it's a micro format for content that can be syndicated so the most important area for targeting the errors and to fix them for HNM markup is on the actual blog pages so that's the actual news articles pages on your website or any of the actual blog post pages that's where you want to target them and fix them and so once you've done that that is pretty much the most important part of what uh, the fixing the HNM markup is. However, if you want to try and target some of the other errors, certainly use the, um, the plugin to do more. So in this case, let's say that you did want to target the uh, normal pages on your website and fix that error that's coming up. So what you would do is you would go to your, your plugins um, settings page again so settings hnm error removal and this time you would add hnm code to pages so we tick that and save so now if we go ahead and we'll, we'll go to see what that looks like on the website so we'll go through to the about page okay so you can see here about was last modified June 18th 2011 by David so we've added some uh, some code onto that page down the bottom there let's test this page so let's preview it again remembering we had the two errors that were coming up so we'll scroll down to the extracted data and we were missing updated and we were missing author we now have those fields in and you can see that there are no more red errors for the H Adam markup on the page. What about perhaps our home page? Well, in this case, the home page is a static page, but the plugin is designed not to add the H uh, Adam code down the bottom of the home page because uh, it doesn't look very good if you do that. So it doesn't actually add any code to this page. So if we were to test the home page, remembering that every home page will be different because each home page um, on a website it could be a static page, it could be a, a specific page 
for that particular theme that displays um, certain content on your website. It could be a, a an article page. It could be a, an archive page. So it could show a blog feed. There are lots of different things that your homepage can be. So in this instance, the plugin is simply designed to remove the entry class from the home page. So let's have a look at the home page. Okay, so you can see here it's missing those same fields as the other pages were. So if we go back here, let's go to our settings for our plugin and we'll go through and we'll check our settings section and HM error removal. And this time we're going to check the entry class remove it from the home page. Remember to read the warning because it can affect some themes performance or appearance. Let's go ahead and save our changes. Let's have a look and see what it did to our home page. Okay, so on this website it didn't change anything. Back to the dashboard. Okay, so let's check now again using the rich snippet tool and we'll preview. Okay, so when it comes to the extracted data, there's still some data being extracted from the page, but in this instance there's no HAtom data. You don't see the HAtom word there at all. So there's no more HAtom errors. Sorry, there's no more HAtom errors because there's no more HAtom markup on the page. Because what the plugin does is it removes the entry class or the H entry class. And the H entry class is what is required in your uh, page to actually activate the uh, HATOM markup. So what about the fourth option? The fourth option is to add the HATOM code to archive pages. So if we were to go ahead and look at one of those archive pages. So on this particular website, if we go to the news page, so this looks like an archive type page. Um, but in this case, you can see that it's actually using a, a specific template, so it's not technically an archive page. But if we go ahead and target one of the archive pages, so your archive pages, if we were to click on perhaps the category, so we're browsing a category here called Lunch Ideas, you can see there's some articles there. So that's one way of targeting, uh, sorry, that's, uh, this is an archive page. Another archive page is, uh, the author page. So we find an author link here, yep. So this is another archive type page. And the other archive type pages are tags. So if your website uses tags, you might be able to check your tag archive pages too. So let's go ahead and check this in the rich snippet tool, this particular author archive page. Okay, so you can see it, it does have HATOM markup on the page uh, and it's missing the field updated and the author as well. So let's see if we can target this archive page with our plugin or directly to the settings page, HATOM error removal. Let's tick that last box. Remember to read the note above. Not every archive page will work because it needs to use the excerpts. So if we go ahead and save and we'll go back to articles. And let's check an archive page again. You can see with this archive page, uh, which is the author archive, that it's added that line of code. So that looks good. If we were then to check it again with the rich snippet tool, so the same page, we'll preview. Okay, and you can see now no more red down the bottom. When you get to the uh, H Atom markup, you can see it's added the updated and it's added the author fields in there. So that's what we wanted to see. The same thing for the uh, category. So browsing the category ideas, uh, the category um, 
articles so you can see that it's added there as well so most likely then if we were to test our uh, category archives so category archives then we'll probably find that it's corrected the errors on that page as well yep when it comes to hatem feed we now have the entry title the uh, updated and the author all there so that's how the plugin works so remember to to uh, read the facts on the actual plugin page so what it actually how the what the plugin actually does so the nice little toggles there that have more information uh, will the plugin fix all the errors so there's some information there do I get a refund if it doesn't work for my website so there's information there as well now, is there instructions for using this plugin so that's what this this video tutorial is for uh, is there styling options so you may want to style the uh, that little line of code that gets added into the uh, into the um, pages you might want to style that slightly differently uh, you might want to hide the extra line so there's an option to to use CSS to do that there and of course if you have any other questions before purchasing the plugin please contact me via the contact page Otherwise, that's it for the uh, tutorial for the DTHAdam error removal plugin. Thank you for watching.